I have a second channel, Cube Compium DDX. Hey everybody. So I've been running Windows 11 22H2 on the Mid Tower Lux now for a little over half a month. And one of the biggest things about Windows 11 that I've noticed is classic shell or open shell does not work. It works, but it does not work. So right now, open shell is installed. But if you click the start button, you get the Windows 11 start menu. But if you press the Windows key on the keyboard, you get the open shell start menu, which is like the Windows 7 start menu. So I'm going to show you how to fix that. So if you go to Open Shell's website and you go to their stable releases section, you'll get 4.4.170, which unfortunately, to what I've um, tested, does not fix the issue with Windows 11 where the Windows 11 start button still brings up the Windows 11 start menu. What you have to do is you have to look for this releases in general. So this, if you if you look up Open Shell Download, you'll see a releases page. So we're looking for pre-releases. So the latest pre-release that's available as of to date is 4.4.186. So we'll go ahead and select assets here. And we'll go ahead and download this file. We'll let that download and we'll run it. So what this will actually do is this will update the existing installation of OpenShell that's on the computer. Or if you are working with, if you're, if you're actually installing this for the first time, it will do a clean install. Okay, so what we got to do here is we actually have to run it directly. And you'll get this little thing saying, when has protected your PC? Microsoft Defender Smart Screen prevent an unrecognized app from starting. That way you, you can keep using your Windows 11 start menu. So I'm going to hit more info here. I'm going to choose run anyway. Nice try, Microsoft. You're trying to block access to a uh, to uh, fixing one of your problems. Zen was going to click next. Accept the license terms, and you can see I had previously installed it with these parameters. I personally don't use the Classic Explorer or Classic IE. I just use Open Shell Menu and Open Shell Update. Click next and install. And it's going to install this newer version. And we're going to click finish. And now, if we go over here and click the start button, we may have to re actually log out and log back in to get this to work. So let's give that a shot. Okay, let's go ahead and log back in. And let's see here. And now we have our classic Windows start menu. I tell you what guys, I just I just like this so much I, I like this so much better than the Windows 11 start. I mean, come on, Microsoft. Why can't you just offer a classic style start menu? I mean, you think about it. Up through Windows Vista. I think it was up through Windows Vista. Or maybe Windows 7. Might have been Vista. You could actually go back to the classic Windows 9X start menu. If you really wish. Why can't they do that these days? But anyways, here we have our classic open shell Windows 7 style start menu. On Windows 11, and it works with the start button. Now, I do wonder if, for example, 
if I align the taskbar to center, how does it behave? You can see it pops up right in the center. So it, it even works with center alignment if you have your uh, taskbar center align, which is the default in Windows 11. So that's how you can get Up and Shell working in Windows 11. You just got to go download the pre release version because in the pre release version, they fix the issue. And it also works with the Windows key as before. So, anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well, everybody, that wraps up for this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to Kukur channel, and be sure to tick the bell that way you get notified of new video posts. Also, I recommend following Kukur Company on Facebook. A link is in the video description. In addition to computer tech videos, I have a second channel, CubeComp MTDX. Links are available at the end of this video. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching and your support.